does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using it? It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. Here we are in the midst of a global pandemic and what is our independent, trustworthy, uncompromised media focused on? Creating fear and scoring political points by somehow blaming Trump for the coronavirus and the ensuing lockdowns. Do all of these Hollywood and media people get a paycheck from China? You're still watching from home. You're watching from inside yep. your That's house yeah. because a pandemic has happened and you are stuck. And whatever side you're on, you understand that when you have leadership, you would not be you would not be stuck in your house. What? People are locked down in their homes because of Trump? This isn't even hard to debunk. There are currently nine countries on lockdown. And guess what? None of these countries are run by Trump. And in fact, all of these countries have healthcare systems that people like Whoopi Goldberg want here in the US. There's literally nothing Trump could have done to stop the spread of the coronavirus outside of shutting down all the borders and banning all travel into the United States. From the very start, which we all know would have gone over really well with the opposition media. He did ban all foreign nationals who were in China during the time of the coronavirus outbreak from entering the United States and the media reaction was predictable. Will Whoopi get fact checked? Will she get called out in the media for spreading lies? Of course not. The media is only interested in torpedoing Trump at any opportunity. Do they have nothing better to do than enforce their woke ideology on the country to score political points and apparently carry water for a communist dictatorship? Unsurprisingly, Whoopi also echoed China's claims that calling it the Chinese virus is racist. And you know, people, as we've seen, people start punching people, Asian folks, out. Yes. They, you know, will attack. So we need to stop calling it or labeling it like it's they did it to us. I mean, and clearly he's trying to pin the blame on China, but I don't recall hearing him, I don't recall hearing China say the military gave it to them. Am I crazy? <laughs> We'll get right back to the spew, but first I have a very important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. <laughs> no whoopee. Chinese people eating bats and then lying about it until it began to spread worldwide is what did this to us. I find it completely insane that even after China kicked all of the media out of the country, they still continue to carry water for them. But this reality doesn't help get Trump out of the White House. And I'm sorry, but I'm just not buying this narrative that Asian people are under widespread assault, especially when it's coming from people who take any opportunity to fear monger about whites. They're certainly never concerned about any backlash to the white community are they? What about the, the recriminations toward China? Both the president and the secretary of state both use the phrase China virus. Uh, this is race baiting. This is a form of xenophobia. So Peter, um, the president says, uh, no, this is not racist at all. When of course it's nakedly racist and obviously racist and blatantly racist. It's almost as if the more people push back on their insanity, the more intensely they pretend to be outraged. I love how they all arrogantly act like it's just so obvious that calling it the Wuhan virus or the Chinese virus is so racist when they themselves have been using the term for months. This is all happening at a time that we're starting to see a message shift here because you're starting to hear the Republicans, especially Trump Co calling it the Wuhan or the Chinese coronavirus. They're looking for someone to blame. Six people have died from the Wuhan coronavirus. 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 The Wuhan coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus in China. The Wuhan uh, coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus. From the Wuhan 
uh, coronavirus. Wuhan coronavirus. Isn't it strange that as soon as China began putting out propaganda stating that calling it the Chinese virus was racist, the DNC leftist media followed suit. It reminds me of when China was cracking down on support for the Hong Kong protests and American media dutifully complied with their demands. Or how about when China forced the creators of Red Dawn 2 to change the movie's enemy from China to North Korea? Or how about the changes that China forced on the Top Gun remake? Besides the fact that we're completely dependent on China for our medical supplies, it appears that they've compromised our media as well. They definitely have the same enemy, Donald Trump. What we're witnessing here is the media executing their strategy of not reporting on anything positive relating to Trump. If this virus is as serious as they say it is, then the media's politically partisan actions are actually putting Americans at risk. Look at what happened in Italy. Leftists encouraged people to go around hugging random Asian people as a way to virtue signal and show that the coronavirus is no big deal. Now they have the highest amount of people infected with the coronavirus in Europe. That's all I have for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you agree with my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.